Yo, what's poppin' Low Gang? Today we're going to be doing another Patreon rant. This one comes from Neon Manta, who says, It's now my turn to music pill the bagel. Rant about Def Leppard's fourth studio album, Hysteria. They're my favorite traditional band of all time, and this is their best album. Loaded top to bottom with bangers, including Love Bites, one of the, uh, one of the greatest songs of all time. A lot of the stories I've been working on in the background take heavy inspiration from Def Leppard songs, so you should appreciate the creative DNA you'll find in there. P.S. If you hate the album, the future of the podcast is in jeopardy. Well, I certainly don't hate it. I'll say that much. Uh, so I just popped this on in the background last night while I was, of all things, working on a Geometry Dash level, because I've been getting into that game lately, because I've been going on and on about and I was like, you know what? I'm not doing anything particularly important that I need to focus on. Might as well get this out of the way. And so I, you know, popped some songs in the background. I figured it was the type of album that I could do that for. And I listened to it. It was certainly an album. It, it, it is definitely one of the albums of all time. You could even argue that it has songs on it. You could say it was a listening experience, and, uh, you know, they certainly had instruments in them. Okay, I'm being mean right now. It's not actually that bad. It's, you know, they're all listenable songs. You know, there's never a part where you're like, oh, this is unlistenable. Oh, this is fucking terrible. You know, it's not an album that I would rate harshly like that. No, it's infinitely better than most things. Like, if I turn on a random song on the radio, there is about a 90% chance I recoil in disgust and say, this is unlistenable hot garbage, and then I, you know, switch the channel. Ah, oh, this is also unlistenable hot garbage. Switch it again. Ah, oh, fuck, this is even worse. It wasn't anything like that. It was, you know, it wasn't bad. Because bad, to me, in terms of music, is, wow, I would never listen to this in a million years. <laughs> but uh, most of them just aren't that catchy to me. You know, I listen to the hooks, and I'm like, well, that certainly is a hook. You know, it, it's fine. But when I think of all my, what I would consider the greatest songs of all time, I think, holy shit, this is like an absolute banger, I listen to the chorus, and it's like, oh, I just need to keep on listening to, uh, listening to the chorus over and over again, uh, take any song from Will Wood's The Normal Album, and you will see what I mean, they're all, like, they stick in your head, you know, it does not take many listen-throughs to memorize like the the like how the songs go in the normal album because they just stick with you so much. Yeah, this is definitely not as nearly as catchy as Will Wood's The Normal Album. And another thing that I actually want to mention because although I've gone in these series of like music focused rants, I often go I often just fixate on the album itself mostly without much uh, you know, bringing up examples from other songs that I've listened to, but something that I like in my two favorite songwriters, song makers of all time, is the variance in the types of songs they make. Each song from Will Wood is subject to sound completely different from the last, and although they all have some stylistic similarities, each one carves out a very distinct identity for itself. Like, it is, it is very easy to tell them apart. Uh, and most of the albums I've been sent for this series don't really have that so much. They're, they do have a sound to them. I'll, gi I'll give them that. It's not, like, generic, at least as far as I know. You know I don't, granted, I don't listen to much stuff from the 80s, so maybe this is, like, completely in line with what the a like most music from the 80s sounded like. I wouldn't know, but... I, you know, it definitely sounds distinct enough from other things that I've heard, but 
I can't say I particularly am in love with their sound. You know, it's fine. It's it's palatable. It's not disgusting. So that instantly puts it above most pop songs, at least from the current era, because I'm, I'm a fucking boomer when it comes to music. Not really a boomer, but, you know. Boomers don't like the downward spiral. They hated that. But, you know, it, it's fine. I didn't hate listening to it. It was enjoyable enough for putting on in the background while I was playing Geometry Dash. I did, before recording this rant, re-listen to, I think it was Rocket, and then, uh, what the fuck was it called? The the Sugar song. Put in Sugar somewhere. It's the really popular one. Like, the, the one that just exploded in popularity. Which, by the way, I did in fact pop off whenever that song... Oh, it's called Pour Me Some Sugar. I did pop off when I heard the song for the first time, because that's like, it got, it, it unearthed some childhood memories, like spontaneously at that moment, because the arcade uh, radio at my one slow, there's a fucking cat outside, hold on, there's just some cat walking around outside, like near-ish to the car in my neighbor's yard. I, I now can't... What was I even talking about? All I can think about is cat. Holy sh... And they meowed. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, I hope that's like... I, I, I hope they're just an outdoor cat. They, they look reasonably well-fed, so I'm sure... I'm sure they're fine. But... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll try and, m and pet it whenever I finish these rants. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, oh, it's running off, rip. But, uh, fucking, where was I? The, the arcade, they had a radio that you could, you know, put a quarter in and then play a song. I remember, uh, I think it was my mom that played this song a lot. You know, I remember it blaring through the arcade as a kid. And, yeah, it was, you know, a very popular song. So, uh, yeah, that was enjoyable from a nostalgia level, but in terms of the actual song, I can't say... See, even as a kid, like, I never looked up the name of the song because I didn't care. It's just not that good. <laughs> it's not bad, like I said, but it's, it's not my cup of tea, or I guess not my cup of sugar in this case. That's literally about all I have to say. I, I don't think I can really go into much more depth. It was fine. Uh, don't, don't hate me. Don't end the podcast. That's about it. See ya.